Scott Maslin, a household name, known for his charm, his talent, and his dedication to his craft. Synonymous with EastEnders hard man Jack Branning. For years, he has graced our screens, portraying a character who fights crime and wins hearts. His portrayal of Jack Branning has made him a beloved figure in British television, a staple in many households. But recent headlines tell a different story. A story that has shocked fans and the public alike. A story of alleged altercations, of anger, of a dog walker named Michael Kelly. The incident reportedly took place in a local park, where tempers flared and accusations were made. Maslin's clean-cut image, now tarnished. Accusations fly. The media frenzy has been relentless, with every detail of the incident being scrutinized. Was this a case of mistaken identity, or something more? The public demands answers. Fans are divided, some standing by him, others questioning his actions. Maslin's career, a tapestry woven with dramatic storylines. His roles have always been intense, filled with conflict and resolution. His personal life, largely private, he has always kept a low profile, avoiding the limelight when not on set. But this incident thrusts him into the spotlight. The media circus has been unrelenting with cameras following his every move, this time not for his acting. The allegations are serious, assault, abuse, the stakes are high, the legal proceedings are ongoing and the outcome remains uncertain, his reputation hanging in the balance. The world watches as the drama unfolds, both on and off the screen. Will Scott Maslin clear his name, or will this controversy mark the end of his illustrious career? October 19th, a crisp autumn day in London. Regent's Park, bustling with life, dog walkers, joggers, families enjoying the sunshine. Among them, Scott Maslin, a familiar face out with his dog. Enter Michael Kelly, also walking his dog. What began as an ordinary day descends into chaos. Accounts differ. Kelly claims Maslin's dog off-lead became aggressive towards his. An argument erupts. He alleges Maslin, enraged, kicked him. Witnesses rush to the scene. The situation escalates. Kelly sustains injuries. The police are called. I was shaken and bruised. The incident left me in a state of shock, both physically and emotionally. I never imagined I would find myself in such a situation, where fear and pain would become my constant companions. The bruises on my body were a testament to the violence I endured. It was a terrifying encounter. The fear I felt in that moment was unlike anything I had ever experienced before. My heart raced, and my mind was consumed with thoughts of survival. The sheer unpredictability of the situation made it all the more horrifying. Maslin was enraged and out of control. His eyes were filled with a wild fury, and his actions were driven by an unrelenting anger. It was as if he had become a different person, consumed by a rage that knew no bounds. He kicked me, the pain was searing, and I was scared. His actions were unprovoked. Each blow felt like a hammer striking my body, leaving me gasping for breath. The pain was intense, radiating through my entire being. I couldn't understand why this was happening to me. Michael Kelly speaks to the press, his voice trembling with indignation. He stands before the cameras, a man who has been through a harrowing ordeal, seeking to share his story with the world. His words are charged with emotion, each sentence a plea for understanding and justice. He details the encounter, painting a picture of Maslin, enraged and out of control. The vivid description of the events leaves no room for doubt about the severity of the situation. Kelly's account is both compelling and heartbreaking, a stark reminder of the violence he endured. Kelly's injuries documented in photographs. The images are a stark visual representation of the brutality he faced. Each bruise and mark tells a story of pain and suffering, a silent testament to the violence inflicted upon him, a stark reminder of the altercation. The aftermath of the fight is a scene of chaos and destruction, a physical manifestation of the emotional turmoil that Kelly experienced. The remnants of the conflict serve as a haunting reminder of the violence that took place. He expresses concern for his own safety, his voice thick with emotion. He demands justice, accountability. Kelly's plea is not just for himself, but for all those who have suffered similar fates. His call for justice is a powerful reminder of the need for accountability and change. His story, a stark contrast to the image we know. The public's perception of Maslin is shattered by Kelly's account, revealing a side of him that was previously hidden. The contrast between the public image and the reality of the situation is striking. The public listens, absorbing every word. The audience is captivated by Kelly's story. 
their reactions ranging from shock to empathy. Each person in the crowd is deeply affected by the account, a testament to the power of Kelly's words and the gravity of the situation. I deny the allegations, vehemently. These accusations are baseless and unfounded. It was Kelly's dog that was aggressive. I had no choice but to intervene. I acted in self-defense, protecting my own dog. My actions were purely to ensure the safety of my pet. I regret that the situation escalated, but I did nothing wrong. I wish things had turned out differently. Silence. The city holds its breath, waiting for the next development. Days turn into a media frenzy. Speculation mounts. The public is eager for answers. Then, a statement. Scott Maslin breaks his silence. He denies the allegations, vehemently. His voice is steady, his gaze unwavering. His version of events differs drastically. The public is divided, opinions clash. He claims it was Kelly's dog that was aggressive. Maslin maintains his innocence. He stands by his actions. He states he acted in self-defense, protecting his own dog. His words, carefully chosen, measured. He emphasizes the need for truth. He expresses regret that the situation escalated. But he stands firm. He did nothing wrong. His resolve is clear, his conscience clean. Is Section 5. The plot thickens. Conflicting narratives and public scrutiny. There are two sides to every story. Here, the narratives clash. Kelly's account, emotional, raw. Maslin's controlled, defensive. The truth, lost somewhere in between. The public divided. Some side with Kelly, appalled by the allegations. Others stand by Maslin, believing in his innocence. Social media explodes. A battleground of opinions, accusations, and counter-accusations. The incident becomes a Rorschach test reflecting personal biases, fueling the flames of judgment. Section 6.